Okay, so you guys want to make sure that you've got some octane area lights in your scene. You can see I've got a top, left, right, back, and a front light. And all of these lights with the temperature slider, I've moved it to the right to basically emit a cool glow on my object. And then for some of the different lights, like the back light, I've adjusted the power because I didn't want it to be uh, too bright. And I've done that for the front light as well. So you guys need to play around with your power slider until you get a certain look and feel that you're going for. Then once you're done with that, you want to create an octane material. I've made my material type glossy, my diffuse is on black, the roughness slider is on 0 0.47706, but play around with this roughness slider because it also gives you uh, different results. My form width is on 0 0.166667, and then my form index is all the way on 1. Now once that's set up, I'll go ahead and actually create an octane camera. And then my focal length is on a portrait, which is on 80 millimeters. And then on the actual uh, octane camera settings, really important you want to enable pro, uh, post processing and then bump up the bloom power because that's basically what's going to make the material glow then my camera imager my response is on linear and then i've played around with the gamma and the exposure and you guys can play around with thin lens as well by adjusting the aperture to give you some depth of field All right so if i go ahead and i uh, bring up my live viewer over here for octane click on render and go into the camera settings you'll see that it doesn't look correct because this material is not applied to my object but as soon as I apply this material there we go we've got that material on here and the awesome thing is if I go back to the film width and I play around with this slider I get a bunch of other crazy color combinations and you can actually animate this as well so this is a really really cool glowing pearlescent material that you guys can create and I've basically showed you how to do that in 120 seconds Right, so thank you for watching and goodbye.